we're going to cover having number two. I have at least one or two more videos after this. But this was important because the, with the stuff that's going on today, I watched a video earlier this morning. Well, it was more like this afternoon when I got back from the dentist again after the Tanya TKO. I watched this video called TED TV. And I don't know the comedian that was um on it. So he actually pulled up a color chart. And on the color chart, he had Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And I know he didn't do it as a means of hurting The Rock, but it hurt me. And let me explain why. All right, because I'm a particular light-skinned man. You know, I'm high yellow as hell. You know, my melatonin in some parts are thicker than the other. As a person who is mixed like The Rock, I'm a little bit more mixed than The Rock. The Rock's only two. He's biracial. I'm multicultural. Let me explain that for you morons who don't know. If you have more than three races, you're multicultural. If you only have two races, you're biracial. Bi, as in two. Multicultural, as in more than two. So let's say that again, as I always do. I am Cherokee, I am black, and I am white. Where the rock is black and Samoan. Technically, he has triple citizenship because he was born in America. His mom is a Samoan and royalty at that. His dad was black and Canadian, which is not that rare of a thing because Canada is awesome. But this comedian was talking about him, him, him and his white fiance was pulled over in whatever state they were in. And he said, you know, whenever I get pulled over, I have to remember that I am not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now to think about that for a minute. It's like, you know, The Rock has a few things going for him. He has a few things going against him. He seems to not be able to appease a lot of his black fans. And I'm here to say, leave The Rock the fuck alone. All right? And Rocky, if you're listening, I can use a job for defending you. Because I'm one of your biggest fans. And we're not that far apart in age. I'm like right, right behind you. Like literally right behind you in age. Like right there. We play catch up. You know, when you turn your next age, I'll be turning your last age. So, you know. And I think I turn your last age before you turn your new age. Anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is that a lot of people have given The Rock a lot of flack because he doesn't play black-based characters. I'm here to tell you guys, um, first off, you're wrong. And The Rock needs to give you the people's boot right up the people's ass. And let me explain that. See, The Rock's done something that I wanted to do and just was never given the opportunity. In the 19 years that I've been trying to break into this business, I have not once been given an opportunity to even remotely play a character, period. Unless it's my own stuff, I haven't been able to do anything. But The Rock gets slack for not playing black characters. You know, it's like, well, he's always catering to his Samoan side. All right, let me explain this to you guys. And the better way I can explain it is I have a video on here called um, Mixed Kids Don't Have an Identity Crisis Support Group because we don't, all right? However, there are a lot of us mixed kids. We know who we are. We know what we are. It's y'all who screws us up, all right? So Rock's mixed. He's a biracial person. He generally plays a person who's biracial, but none of the movies... Um, kids there's black side. If you just seen Hobbs and Shaw, his entire family as Hobbs was Samoan. I don't think Hobbs is an actual Samoan name, but hey, I'm not down with that. As you know, in the movie, his mom's Samoan. So therefore, he is basically playing himself just Hobbs. You know. Now here's here's the thing, and Rock probably can relate to me on this, and y'all probably can't. If you're not mixed, you really probably can't relate to this. I am black. I am also Cherokee. And I'm also white. I do not relate to being white. I love white people, but I am not one of them 
in the literal sense, I can never be one of them. I can't bleach my skin light enough to be white. Does that mean I hate white people? Hell no. I have white people in my family who will die for me. And I love them and will die for them. And they're living in Richmond. Much love to you. Y'all know who you are. I'm not going to put your names out there. Just for safety cautions. I have black people in my family. And Cherokee. We never really got to meet the Cherokee. Understand. And my family on both sides is Cherokee. And none of them have explored our Cherokee heritage. None of them. Except for one person. Me. You know. And on my dad's side with the most Cherokee. Uh, my great grandmother Ada. Who's a Cherokee from the Pohite Reservation. Um, I'm the only grandchild who really stuck with her during the time that she was here, you know. And I stuck with her most of the summers until I was 12 when she passed. So, that being said, at least I think I was 12. I don't remember, but I know she passed a long, long time ago. So, very long time ago. You know, she would tell me the stories about her and her brother John. So, I have a great uncle John who has kids somewhere out there, um... John Ford, wherever you are, where is John Wallace, whatever, John Wallace or John Ford, because her name is Ada Wallace Ford, yeah, whatever, um, I'm here, I know you're probably passed by now, because Native Americans may have longevity, but, you know, Ada passed from Can Green, so, um, I didn't get to go to her funeral, worst regret ever, but that was like my mom's fault, anyway, that being said, I did go to my grandma Bay's funeral, who was her daughter. And both of them were cooks. That's what they did for a living. Anyway, that being said, you know, people, when The Rock said he wanted to do a John Henry movie, everybody jumped down The Rock. Oh, your skin tone's not dark enough to be John Henry. When there are, if any, historical pictures of John Henry, I've never seen them. But The Rock finally wants to do something for black people, and they stab him in the face. All right, now, I don't know how far it's gotten. I don't know if it's gotten back to The Rock or whatever. But I love The Real. And the ladies on The Real were kind of mad about The Rock wanting to be John Henry. But yet the whole world at large has been mad at The Rock for not playing someone who's black. Y'all can't have it both ways. It's the same thing with me. All right, let's say tomorrow. I know it's not going to happen. But if it does, I will be grateful forever. Let's say tomorrow Disney decides, hey, how would you feel being Jay Strongbow? For those who do not know who that is, he is a Native American superhero played, his uh, code name is American Eagle. All right? And Jay Strongbow, I'm probably saying his name right, but let me Google it really quick just to be on the safe side, you know, because it, I, I really would like to be on the safe side and be correct. Come on, Google. Marvel superhero American Eagle. Why? Why, Google? Why? <laughs> Marvel superhero American Eagle. Here what is some information fuck? for who is the world's most popular superhero. According to Wikipedia, Superman has remained one of the most recognizable superheroes, and his success spawned a new archetype of characters <laughs> with secret identities and superhuman powers. Okay, and y'all wonder why I hate technology. I know y'all heard me say Marvel superhero, American Eagle. Marvel superhero, American Eagle. Jason Strongbow. According to some information I found on Wikipedia. Yeah, what kept you? Dumbass. So, I had the name right. Strongbow. So I'm going to show you who he is. The one I remember anyway. If this Facebook thing will go away. So this is Jason Strongbow. Okay? So let's say tomorrow. And I know it's not going to happen. But I can dream and I can dream big. I don't know why they gave him a crossbow. I mean, that's kind of derivative. He actually should have had an actual bow. Plus, I think crossbows are for sissies. Sorry, Norman Reedus. Anyway. So, plus, from what I learned of my culture, of Native Americans, they didn't have fucking crossbows. But I guess they just changed it up and gave Jason Strongbow a crossbow. 
So here's Black Crow. He has a bow and arrow. Why can't Jason Strongbow have a bow and arrow? Now, Black Crow, I have no idea what comic he's from. This says Comic Vine, so... I know I'm so off subject right now, but, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go back to my point. My point was really simple. If DC gave me a job tomorrow as American Eagle, there's no way in hell that I would turn it down. You know, I would take this guy and milk it for all I'm worth. If they say, you're going to play Jason Strongbow, and I would tell them, y'all know I'm not full-blooded Cherokee, but the good news is, Jason Strongbow's not Cherokee. Just like um, Forge is Cheyenne, and Danielle Moonstar is Cheyenne. I'm about to find out um, what the hell Jason Strongbow is. Jason Strongbow, he's Navajo. So yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue because I'm not Navajo either. I know enough about Navajo, but he's a Navajo. No. So let's click on what it says. So when you're giving The Rock a hard time, because now he's trying to play somebody black, and this was like a year and a half ago when this was on the reel, and I was kind of lit. I made a video about it. I was really pissed off at the ladies of the reel because here they are. You have a uh, sister, sister, who's biracial. She has a white father. So she, of all people, shouldn't have been giving The Rock a hard time. Then you have Jeannie. She's Vietnamese. You have Lonnie, who's black. And you have Munchkin, who's Latino. Which also means she's basically Asian because you have Cockaloid, Nigraloid, and Mongoloid. And Mongoloids are Asians. Nigraloids are black. And cockaloids are white. Don't ask me who came up with the name for the Lloyds, okay? Just go with it. And I'm sorry if that was offensive. So you have a Navajo superhero character. Um, American Eagle. He uh, first appeared in um, October 6, 1981. Created by Don, some name I can't pronounce, and penciler Ron Wilson. And it's Doug, not Don. So it's Doug, M-O-E-N-C-H. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Alter Ego, Jason Stombo. Navajo Nation, Division of Public Safety. He was an agent of Hammer. I always thought he was an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., so I'm sorry about that. Um, that's one that I got by me. You know, I was just happy to have a Native American character. But anyway, his abilities. Superhuman strength, speed, agility, stamina, and sturdiness. Enhanced senses. Carries a crossbow which fires specific bolts. All right, so it goes into uh, the thing again. Um, he joins with Thing, Kazar, and um, Wyatt Wingfoot to defeat Claw. Contest of Champions. It goes into a lot of stuff. You guys can Google him and read him because I don't want this to take me too far out of um out of what the whole point of this video is. Because the whole point of this video is that the comedian had um, said something about The Rock and because of his skin tone. And he had the color wheel. And somebody else, somebody else, The Rock, three or four other light-skinned people, and then him. And he said that he had to survive something that didn't need to be survived because you shouldn't be afraid of the police. And I get that. But it made me think about all the times that people have said things about The Rock because he doesn't play black characters. And I said, you know, first and foremost, you have to understand, if you're not multicultural or mixed, y'all have lived a totally different life than what we've lived. All right? Me being biracial, multicultural, whatever you choose to call me, um, me and Rock grew up about the same time. Because I'm not that much older than, I mean, younger than them. I actually am younger than him because I'm 73, he's 72. Um, you can Google it. Freaking, um, you know, his experience might have been a little bit more um, fantastic compared to mine because his dad was exciting and my dad just was like a mechanic and a chef. 
and my mom was a career nurse. So yeah, there's nothing fancy going on in my life in the childhood other than my mom having more kids than she needed. Okay, that being said, when you grow up multicultural or you're growing up biracial, it's harder on us than it is on kids who are mostly black or mostly white or mostly Asian. Y'all fit in everywhere. You have the Asian group, all the Asian kids hang together. We don't know what they're talking about because they're all speaking a different language. You have your black groups. All the black kids are down high-fiving everybody and doing whatever it is they do. You have your white kids, same thing. High-fiving each other, speaking a different language, talking all valley girlish and all that other crap. Like if we can get their attention. And then you have the mixed kids. Go try to hang with those white kids. Mm, you're not one of us, dude. You're like half one of them. So we don't really want you around. Go hang with the black kids. Oh, you're not really one of us, dude. You're like one of them and one of us. And we don't trust you because you might go tell them all our secrets. Asian kids are like, we don't want you around just because we don't know what you've told them. And we don't know what you told them. And we don't want you around either because we just don't know what the hell you actually are. So, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been on the receiving end of a lot of that while I was a child. The point being made is that, you know, I'm sure that The Rock has not probably been offered great, great black roles. Because, honestly, he doesn't look all the way black. So, if, if you're going to go by how he looks as for the role, then they weren't going to give him the role. But since he wanted to produce and star in the John Henry thing, Nobody wanted him to do that because he finally wanted to do something for the black side because everybody's been giving him a hard-ass time, and now they won't let him do it, which is kind of foul. But all mixed um, entertainers have had that issue. Brandon Lee had that issue. You know, um, he didn't look uh, Chinese enough for some Chinese roles. He didn't look white enough for white roles, and he did really well. I did not like only one of his movies, which was Laser Mission. I did not like that movie at all. God rest his soul. I did not like Laser Mission. But everything after Laser Mission, top of the line. My favorite Brandon Lee movie, not The Crow. Don't be mad. It's not The Crow. It's not even Rapid Fire. Although those two were great movies, my favorite Brandon Lee movie will always be Showdown and Little Tokyo. With him and Dolph Lundgren being cops fucking shit up. No. The only thing I didn't really like about it is that Brandon Lee... His character technically was Japanese instead of Chinese. But that's Hollywood for you. If you're Asian, you're going to play whatever Asian character they want you to play. That's pretty much the gist of it right there. And it's the same thing when On Deadly Ground came out. And this is before I got my education from my Korean friend. Um, this is before I found out Native Americans were actually Asian. I love Joan Chen. I love Vivian Wu. Vivian Wu did a... Tales from the Crypt, where she played a person named Little Drum Beater. Joan Chen played a Native American girl in um, On Deadly Ground. And I'm sitting there and I'm angry as fuck because there were other Native American actresses that did not get the role. But they were actually Native American. And it's like, how can Joan Chen be a Native American? She's fucking Chinese. And no offense for that, you know. But at the time, I didn't know that Native Americans actually came out of Asia. You know, I just thought that we came from Atlantis. So I'm like, that's some strange shit. But then I learned other things that aren't really relevant, but I'm going to add them anyway. When I learned that Iron Eyes Cody wasn't a Native American at all, and then I started looking at all the old Russians and a couple of wrestlers who were hailing as Native Americans, but they weren't Native Americans. Iron Eyes Cody was not remotely Native American at all, which really traumatized me. Um, he's Native American in spirit because he represented the Native Americans very well. So he's a damn good actor in God Rest His Soul. Um, I looked at all these old movies from the 60s and 70s, and they really didn't hire Native Americans. They hired Italians to play Native Americans, tan them up a little bit, oil them, you know, spray tan, that kind of thing. Back in the 60s and 70s, it did exist. I don't know what it was called back then, but they tanned them up. And they never really had real Native Americans actors play things until like Graham Greene came along and um, Adam Beach and a couple of other ones. And um, what the hell was this guy named from the um, Indian in the cupboard? But you get where I'm going. So The Rock wants to do John Henry and everybody like pretty much drops a hammer on Rock like, nah, you can't do that. You're not dark enough. And like, you guys are fucking foul. 
So, that being said, leave the rock alone. If y'all won't let him play a black character, then you take whatever the hell he gives you. And Rock, I hope I didn't offend you trying to defend you. Thanks for watching, people. This is Comfort Avenue number two. Be seeing you. If I can find the cursor.